There you are, I was looking for you. All right, what's up guys? Today it's Friday and that means it's time for me to go exploring what's near Cartagena. I am so excited, I'm so pumped to go out. And uh, you know, today the plan is that I'm gonna go out to uh, what's called Isla de Rosario. It's an island, it's just like two or three hours away from here by bus, I don't even know, I don't care. I'm just gonna go there because I've heard it's sick. They have crystal clear water and they have, it's an island, you know, what well, can be bad? You know, who doesn't love islands? So I'm super pumped. I've been living here for a couple months. So I'm just so pumped to get out of the city, go back in an island and just be free. You know, the chill island vibes, you know, all that sort of stuff. So let's just get into it. And uh, I can't wait to just boo, 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 boo. Let's get down to it. Ciao. What you'll see today is a different kind of day, but you know, like the last couple of vlogs I've done, I feel like I've been so damn serious, you know, looking at the camera and be like, hmm, today we're going to go to uh, Sanidad's Gara Samba. No. Today we're spicing it up, pumping up the vibe. I've been there, I've been... Yo, what's up? What's up? Pump it up. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so uh, I've been feeling like this for, uh, for a couple of vlogs now, but I just can't... So, made it here to Isla Grande now. It was uh, about um, like one hour boat ride. It was uh, it was smooth, got a little bit wet, but you know, it's a fucking freaking boat ride, so what do you expect? Get a little bit wet. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we just made it here to uh, the hostel. It's called uh, Secreto Hostel here in Isla Grande. It's pretty sweet. It's all new. It's only been open for like three weeks. So uh, it's, everything is new. They have a pool right here with a nice slide. Who doesn't like a slide? I'm a big fan. Look at all the colors. Hola, buenas. So I just checked in the hostel right here. A uh, bed like this is 40,000 pesos for a night, which is all right for an island. You know, they always pump the prices up a little bit more. It's more expensive than Cartagena, of course, where the prices are more like 25,000. So here it's 15,000 more, but you also get a hostel like this. 
Look at how nice it is. You got the pool right there. Have like beach, uh, you know, bungalow things you can lay in. It's simply amazing. Look at this little house, how cute it is. It's so cozy. The kitchen right here, have like a common area. So you have all the other houses right here next to it. So cozy. Bon appetit. What am I eating? This or you? This or this? this? <laughs> Beach. Gonna get a little tan going on because these arms are getting a little bit pale, boy. I need that tan so I can fit in. So they think I'm local and everything gets cheaper, you know? It's all planned. You know, if you're white, if you're like super gringo, they'll just charge you extra for everything. So you just get a proper tan, then you get everything cheaper. It's an investment and you look nicer as well. Oh, look at this little house here. How nice is that? You live here. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, there's someone. <laughs> oh, how nice. Hey, how ma. Super nice. I guess you're back. Are you gonna tell me where you went? Messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my room I hate how you assume I'll take the pleasure and the pain The sorrows in your brain Cause I know you're on the run I'll take the pleasure and the pain Your secrets to my grave What is up guys? Good morning. Now it's uh, just 10.30 a.m. here in uh, Isla Grande in Colombia. Just woke up and had an amazing breakfast here in the island. They have uh, free breakfast at this hostel for the price, which I think is, uh, is perfect. So now we're gonna head off to another beach. I'm on the beach, but we're gonna head off to another one because you know, that's just luxury life, hey. Um, yeah, no, we had a bit of trouble this night sleeping because there were so many mosquitoes. But 
I mean, you can't really help that. It's not a, not the you know the hotel's problem or anything. So uh, I guess you got to just say that's part of the experience. And you know what? It's just a tiny mosquito. I had a bit of a fight with them last night. Um, I can I killed 11 mosquitoes in my mosquito net. <laughs> so uh, I had like a, a battle, David, against the mosquitoes. That was uh, entertaining. <laughs> now. You know, hopefully this beach will be even better than the one from uh, from yesterday. And uh, yeah, no, it's gonna be a sick day, sick day today again. So I already got super lost, or super lost, kind of lost, on this tiny island. It's like the size of your backyard. But you know, all the roads are just like this. So <laughs> it's quite hard to uh, to keep them, you know, <laughs> to to know which one is the right way. So I'm just kind of picking one and trying to see if that's the right one to find back to the hostel. <laughs> or maybe find a perfect beach, who knows? <laughs> Going a bit off trail now. Time to see if we can find something. You know, we're trying to look for a cool beach, but it's just, there's a lot of people here, so. Just uh, gonna try and go a little bit off trail and hopefully we'll find something. No hay arañas. Wow. Whoa. Look at that bungalow. That's huge. I've never seen a bungalow that big before. Looks all abandoned. Wow, let's go check this out. So this right here looks like it could have been a suite. Look, like it's huge. Like the master king. Go in there. 
like the master bedroom. So we were just chilling down by the beach right here in front of the super mega bungalow mansion. And uh, when this guy came by, uh, he wanted to talk to us. I don't know what he wanted to say, but you know, he, he looked a little bit sketchy. So I was like, hmm, let's talk to this guy, find out what he wants. When I started talking to this guy, he actually came up with a really interesting story about this whole place. Because we were questioning like, why is it abandoned? Why does it look like this? It's amazing. You know, it's like one of the biggest bungalow builds that I've ever seen in my life. Look at all this rope. Wow. It's amazing. Well, the story he told us was that this place was actually owned by a Colombian gangster. A mafioso, what it's called. This guy got killed a couple of years back in another town about two to three hours away from here. He got killed and his son got killed. And therefore the, the state took over this place and it's just been abandoned ever since. It's a very sad story. But you know, if you're a gangster, that what comes to you, I guess. Um, but yeah, so we've been chilling at a gangster's mansion for the day. How's that for an adventure? It was um, one big coincidence. We just turned left and then we ended up here. That's what you get when you go a little bit off trail. Amazing, really, really amazing.